Then what happened through geological time is from plate tectonics, all these rocks then shifted to the side, and then the rest of the Cretaceous came to sit on top. Now what we've got here is if you imagine this is the entire stretch of the Jurassic coast, say you've got Exmouth down here, all the way up past Charmer, you can technically walk through these different geological time periods. And that is why the Jurassic Coast is so spectacular, is that we can see trends in perhaps evolution as well. And I'll explain a little bit more about that when we get to the Ammonite section. So the Jurassic Coast is special because we can walk between different geological time periods, which are separated by millions of years. And all three periods of the Mesozoic era, which encompass Triassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous, are exposed. So, because of this, it also creates what's called an unconformity. Now, I'm not going to get too much detail on that because that's not really what we're here. But basically, as you can see, because of the way that the geology